Hi. Day 10 of Extinction Rebellion didn't exactly raise the roof. A gathering in Parliament Square and march to Trafalgar Square. The main headline grabber was a small group of women shattering a couple of windows in the J.P. Morgan building. Immediately a chorus of online disapproval to be followed by an immediate onslaught and condemnation, no doubt. You have to remember, there hasn't been any rioting or serious disturbance on the streets of London for ten long years. So left. The entire spectrum of protest has become passive. Any aggression is opposed, a harmless noise. The police haven't faced serious challenge since 2011. Exile are non-violent in the tradition of CND and the Green and Common Women. Black Bloc, it is not. It's part of a quintessentially English middle-class form of protest that's reasserted itself in this period of social peace and bourgeois tranquility. The only thing disturbing the Queen's piece, Rooker's noise. So you can bet your bottom dollar that a couple of windows will have the likes of Nick Ferrari foaming at the mouth, as he has already, saying the criminal element is coming to the fore, along with the Daily Mail, Sun and the rest of the right, the rent a right-winger propaganda brigade. There is, against all logic, a campaign to brand XR as Marxist, extremist, violent agitators, while simultaneously portraying them as spoilt middle-class brats or eccentric, if somewhat pompous, out-of-touch activists from suburbia. The latter is the closest, more realistic assessment. I utterly believe exile when they say they are non-violent. They are to a point of masochism. It's the entire ethos of XR. As an anarcho malcontent from the plebeian depths with 50 years of street actions, confrontations against the full force of authority, I don't mean that as a compliment. Bye.